guys, it's JJ here with another video and today I will be making two simple enclosures for my new praying mantises, as you can see here. So as you may remember, I already have one praying mantis, but the same breeder who gave me that one gave me two today. So I wanted to share with you the process of how I make my mantis enclosures. So first of all, you'll need a praying mantis, of course, and you'll need a plastic cage each and which is taller because these dudes are arboreal and they like to hang around in high places and somewhere to cling to so i like to use these nets and you can get these at floral shops so what this does is when you bend it it provides a place where the mantises can hang vertically from in this apex so why do you need this place so Mantises shed their skin, they, mo they molt when they're hanging down, so they ha need a place to cling on to and they molt, otherwise they'll fall and they might actually die. So the only thing you have to do here is just bend it and put it in like this and the same with the other one. So these plastic cages are from a Korean company called JIF. I love them. Actually, they make cool cages and enclosures, food dishes. So you might want to check them out. So that's all for the enclosures. So I'll move in my mantises now. This mantis species is actually the largest one in South Korea. They're still babies, but when they grow up, they grow to be like giants. They grow as big as my hand. So in you go. Locking onto my finger. He thinks it's food or prey. Litter. So, here you go. Oh, he jumped. See? So, I don't like to put in water dishes for my mantises because when I feed them crickets, the crickets tend to go into the water bowls and drown. So I just spray them water every morning. Here's a brown one. The, the color coat oh, escaped. Let me catch that. So these juice they change color as they morph. So when they grow up in a green enclosure they turn green and when they grow up in a brown enclosure like when you put in a cork bark or something, they grow brown. Oh he keeps on jumping off my hand. You can see just Put it in like this. Go in. Go in. He likes my hand. So, as you can see, he's in. Let me close the lid. Oh, he's trying to escape again. Oh, God. Put it in like this. And voila! It's done. I want to spray them so they don't, so they don't dry up, so, and yeah, that's all for setting up our praying mantises, let me show you the old one, this is my, this is the original praying mantis I had, the same species, so I have a trio and I hope that they, they have both females and males, so I could breathe them and fall. Okay then, see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please click subscribe and goodbye.